Continuing coverage now on the attempt on former President Donald Trump's life over the weekend, a Hawaii man who formerly lived in North Carolina arrested after the Secret Service spotted him hiding in the bushes with a rifle near Mr. Trump's home in Florida. He faced a judge today. Joining us now with more on the arrest and what happens from here is retired FBI Supervisory Special Agent Scott Augenbaum. Scott, good to see you. Assassination attempts involving presidential candidates used to be pretty rare, but now we have had two in two months. How do you explain what's going on? Uh, we are living in some crazy times right now. I don't remember these things growing up in all these years. And it, I heard the news and it's deja vu all over again. And it's going to be a really trying time for law enforcement to keep the president and the president uh, and the candidates safe. Certainly. Now, in this case, it looks like the Secret Service identified the threat, acted quickly. Yet they say this guy was perched for maybe as long as 12 hours waiting. Is the Secret Service, in your mind, doing enough to protect Mr. Trump and all the other people it's responsible for? They're doing everything they can with their resources. You would think security would be tightened, and it was. They found the guy. But, you know, and I think it was former, you know, John F. Kennedy said before he was shot that anyone with a gun really stands a good chance with taking anyone out. And now it's just trying times because we're going to so many people are making threats and now law enforcement's going to have their hands full. Now, you said the uh, you felt like the Secret Service was doing the best it could with uh, what it had. Is the answer more agents? I can only imagine it's not a quick process to hire someone because of the specialized nature of the job and get them on the street. These are difficult times that we're in. You know, there's so many different rallies. Candidates don't want to be in. They want to be out amongst the people. I know the Secret Service works with their local law enforcement counterparts. It's just going to be a busy couple of weeks coming up because I don't think Trump or or Harris are going to want to stay in. Is there any temporary fix? And I'm suggesting maybe getting people in the Secret Service who normally work in the office out of the office because we've just got to have you. Yeah, and, and I mean, and that's why they leverage local law enforcement. It's just not Secret Service resources. There's so many other uh, agencies are involved in these multi-agency uh, protection details. But we're living in difficult times right now. Well, let's hope they can continue to do the job they've been doing of late and keeping everybody safe. Retired FBI Supervisory Special Agent Scott Augenbaum, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.